In this tutorial, I, Patrick, will show you how to make a custom progress bar like the one Randy uses on his tutorials, where a logo travels along with the progress bar. Keep watching and I will show you how. This is Patrick taking over for Randy. Whoa, whoa! With Create Studio 3 Tips short. Create Studio has a progress bar component that will automatically create a progress bar that considers the length of the video. So, to demonstrate the progress bar, I will create a one-minute video of my favorite subject, me. In Create Studio 3, you can get to components by clicking on the Effects and Components icon. Switch to the Components panel. Click on Progress Bar and drag it onto the timeline. You will notice the track name Progress Bar was added and it will last for the duration of your video. Cool, huh? If you click on the Progress Bar track, you can customize the shape of the bar as well as the colors. As the playhead advances, you can see the progress bar updates itself, but what we really want to do is add a logo to the progress bar. So go ahead and import your logo into the media folder. I'm using my favorite logo, it's me. Drag the logo onto the timeline above the progress bar. Move the logo so the bottom purple line is at the bottom of the canvas. Then resize the logo so that it fits within the progress bar area. Extend the duration of the logo track slightly longer than your video. We are going to animate the position of the logo, so it travels along at the same speed as the progress bar. Move the playhead near the beginning, but not at the very beginning to give some room to work with. With the logo track selected, click on Add Animation and select Position. Click outside the animation panel to make it disappear. You will see two diamonds on the logo track. These are the animation keyframes. The first diamond is the starting position of the logo, so click on it. If the logo is too small to move with mouse, use the shift and arrow key to move it so that half is outside the canvas and half inside. Click on the second keyframe and move it beyond the length of the video. Click on the last diamond so the playhead will jump there. While holding down the shift key, use the right arrow button to move the logo to the bottom right corner of the canvas. Again, place the logo half inside the canvas and half outside. Now, here is the key tip. You will need to change the default easing to linear. This is the method to keep the logo traveling at the same speed as the progress bar. Move your mouse on the logo track until you see the pointing finger. Mouse click and the animation panel appears. Switch to the easing panel and then click on linear. Last steps with the pointing finger cursor, click and drag the keyframes left all the way. You should only see half of the diamond at the start. Next, adjust the last keyframe so that it is positioned when the video ends. Finally, click the end of the logo track and move it left until it is the same size as the progress bar track. Again, you should see only half of the diamond. That is how you can add a logo to customize your progress bar in Create Studio. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.